In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to manage a lot of objects that you may need to cut out or print and cut using nesting which will reduce wasting your media, saving you time and money. In this example, we have a lot of objects to be print and cut out using expensive outdoor media, so I want to avoid wasting as much of it as I can. To move these objects around one by one to save media will take a lot of time as you can see. To avoid this, we can use the True Nesting module, which is located in the Plugins drop-down box. Go down and click True Nest to open it. This module automatically block nests the objects to fit within the media's width, which we had in the designing area. In this area is a list of all the objects, which can be switched on or off from the object display on the right-hand side as follows. Below this is a thumbnail of each object I select in the list along with its width and height, and I can add or remove the number of copies by clicking here. I can also view all the objects in wireframe by checking this box on, then off again to see the objects in solid view. In this area I can set objects to fit inside each other by checking on, include holes. I will show you how this works later. Here I can set the nesting to allow the objects to rotate by 45 degrees. Using this option will depend on your artwork and project. I can also set the minimum distance each object is to be set apart by setting this value. For example, if I set this to say half an inch you can see the result in the display. Now all the objects are set to be a minimum half an inch apart. Once I have set the parameters and copies I wish to work with and reduce the media being used, I click True Nest here, and the module will attempt to interlock the objects as best it can. As you can see it has saved 4.4 inches of media over a 36-inch wide roll, or a total of 158 square inches, and all with a single click. If I click Improve, it will attempt to save even more media. Which in this case it has. Once I am happy with the results I click apply, and the objects are returned to the designing area, and ready to be sent to print and cut. Now, back to true nesting inside objects. In this document, you can see I have a number of small objects, and one large object. If I open these in the true nesting module and click true nest, and with inside holes checked on, you can see how the arrows are nested inside the larger object. If I switch this off, you can see the arrows remain outside of the larger object. If I click it back on, they nest inside the larger object again. Once I am happy with the results, I can return the nested objects back into the designing area. Another problem with nesting objects is images which often have a solid background. This object is actually an image and not vectors and as you can see has a solid white background. If I load this into the true nesting module and set it to six copies, you can see it only nests to the boundary of each image which is a rectangle shape. To overcome this, we simply add a clipping path to the image. To do this select an image. Next, click on create cut contour here. And the module will open and automatically detect that the object is an image and ask if you wish to trace the bitmap. Click yes to proceed, and then click trace. Uncheck keep holes. Now click apply, then check add clipping path. Next, click accept, and the image with its clipping path will be returned into the designing area. Now open the object in the true nesting module, and set the number of copies to 6 again. Next, click true nest, and now the image will interlock instead of only nesting to the boundary of the image. As you can see, true nesting is a fast and easy way to minimize how much media you need to use and will save you time and money. And that's the end of this lesson. Thanks for watching.